Namibia. If we look at the top three GDP sectors that contribute to our economy, um, it's mining, tourism and fishing. And the most important one is mining. But the greatest blessing in this area was the establishment of beauty called mine. We run a 24-hour operation, 12 and a half megawatts consistently, 24 hours a day. So you can't have any drops in electrical power. If power drops out, production goes down. It's crucial to the operation. Beta Gold opted to build their own power plant on site, which is 24 megawatt capacity, 20 megawatts HFO, 4 megawatts diesel. It's giving us 98% availability with a lot of very good support from Caterpillar. We are obviously a very low cost gold producer, but you continuously strive to keep that cost down. Our power percentage of a total production cost is sitting at around 14%. So we managed to bring that down since we've installed the solar plant. If you download the Irradiance map for Africa, you will see Namibia standing out like a sore thumb. It's the best place to build a solar farm. So here in Ojikoto Mine, we have a true hybrid energy solution system. What it consists of a traditional portion of energy uh, power generation and a solar system. We have selected thin film technology because it's very hot and a humid climate. And this technology performs very well in this climate. And also to perform in soiling conditions, which we've really seen over the last nine months. We also mounted these solar modules on single axis tracker. That's more consistent power throughout the course of the day. So with your stationary panel, you have a bell curve and with your tracking panel, you have a tabletop. So you go up straight up nine o'clock in the morning, all the way through until 1600. When we've reached peak capacity and the spinning reserve is sufficient, we are able to shut down one HFO machine. And that's where the real saving comes in. You're saving fuel, you're saving maintenance costs. We'll generate about 14 million kilowatt hours per annum. That roughly translates to about 14% of our energy demand. Next year, we expect it to be in the region of about 16, 16%. The solar plant in a hot, sunny day could end up producing six megawatts AC. So that's getting close to 50% penetration. The only way we could get that was through the autonomous synchronization. You need to seamlessly integrate into the heavy fuel oil system as well as the high-speed diesel systems. And with the master microgrid controller, this was basically what you got. So if you do happen to get a cloud that, that passes over, the system automatically picks up the drop in voltage and the message is sent to our backup gen sets to automatically start up. As soon as the cloud is passed, they shut down sequentially and we're back on solar. Part of the, the Caterpillar package is CAT Connect. Um, which is a really, really nice system. We monitor the power being generated from our solar plant on a continuous basis. We have it on our cell phones, we have it online, on our computers, wherever we are in the world, we can see what the solar plant is generating. With the yield reports, we can calculate savings real time. Um, on a monthly basis, you can see how this plant has helped your business. The relationship between B2 Gold and Barlowa Equipment Namibia, I would say it's a, it's, a, it's a partnership. It's been an awesome experience with the Barlowa team and they delivered an exceptional product at the end of the day. By having the solar plant installed, we've reduced our sort of transport of HFO to the mine by about 100 trucks a year. So not only are we saving fuel, we're making the Namibian road safer. At the end of the day, it is clean, and the maintenance is cheap. The equipment that you buy, it pays off and it lasts long. B2 Gold is completely focused on giving back. We say we take from the earth and we give back to the earth more than we've taken out of the earth. What we've done here in Namibia in the four short years that this mine has been operating is phenomenal in terms of social upliftment, environmental management, health, education. I've always believed personally that I'm benefiting the environment by being here. To this day, I, I can say with all honesty that we give back far more than we take from the earth. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind.